Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and part one of the analysis of Peace. It's a 10 bar ballad with many two five ones and a good example of how to apply scales and arpeggios. And here we go. Let's analyze Peace now. I usually check for two five ones first and substitute fives. So let's do this. And this song has Though it's very short, only 10 bars, it has a lot of them. So the first one is this. A minor 7 flat 5 to D7 flat 9 is a 2, 5 and minor. Going to the 1. The next one is a 2, 5. Looks like it's in the key of F. But actually, this is a substitute 5. When we do that with a dotted line, half step down to B major 7. Going to the next one is uh, just by moving up the root of this a half step, then you end up with a C minor 7 flat 5. That's the modulation. And that itself, these two quarter notes are a 2, 5 again. 2, 5 and minor, but going to major. No relation to the next one, but this is a 2-5, going to the A major 7. That's a 6 chord. We'll talk about that later. Modulation to the next key. We have now E flat minor 7 flat 5, going to D flat major 7, so this is a substitute 5. And a substitute 2 5. Yes, we have substituted that A flat 7 chord through a D7 sharp 11 chord. Otherwise, it would be a straight 2 5 1, though it's coming from minor, this is going to major. Same thing here. Substitute 2 5 and substitute 5 1. Now, let's look at this in detail again. So this is a 2 minor 7 flat 5. That's a 5 7 flat 9. A minor cadence going to what is here, a minor 7, but actually it's a, it looks like a 2 minor 7. But that's a 5, 7, sharp 11. So it's a sub 5. It's a sub 5. I'm going to the new major, 1 major 7. That is a 2 minus 7 flat 5 again. going to a 5, 7, and that is an altered chord because of the sharp 9, and going to major. That's a 1 major 7 chord. Here we go 2 minor 7, 5, 7, 1 major 7. And that's a 6 minor 7. So far we only had two five ones, and now we have a 6 minor 7. That's a 2 minor 7 flat 5, the 2 of a minor progression. That's the sub 5 again, so that's the and that's the 1 major 7. Because the sub 5 is always a half step above the root, above, above the tonic. Again, same thing here, just a third below. 2 minus 7 flat 5. Sub 5. 
1 major 7. So now what scales belong to those chords? And I want to tell you that this does not mean you have to play those scales. It just means next to the chord tones you have certain diatonic tones. Because otherwise you would see we change the scale and key each chord we have every two beats and that's basically impossible to, to play with scales. You always have to think chords and connect those chord tones and it's good to know which diatonic tones these are coming from the scales. But basically think arpeggios, think chord tones. So that first A minus 7 flat 5, minus 7 flat 5 and minor always calls for Locrian. And that means Locrian comes as the seventh degree of B flat. D7 flat 9 chord comes from harmonic minor of the fifth degree. So as if we come from G harmonic minor. That's the key. It's on the, the fifth degree of G harmonic minor. We have the scale for a D7 flat 9 chord. This is the new one for this one, but actually it's a 2-5, so we'd play Dorian here. And of course that comes then from the key of F. Second degree of F is Dorian. That C7 is not a mixolydian because it leads like a sub-5 to the next one. So that's a mixo sharp 11 chord. Mixolydian sharp 11 chord. And that comes from melodic minor. That comes from the fifth degree, uh, from the fourth degree of melodic minor. So it's G melodic minor. Check that out. G melodic minor, fourth degree is C7 mixolydian sharp 11 scale. If you're not familiar with that, check out my lesson on the melodic minor scales. Here, this is strictly Ionian. B major 7, we are in a new key, and so this calls us to play the B major 7 scale. We move up the root a half step, we end up with another Locrian scale. And that actually, again, is a half step above that, the seventh degree of D flat. Five seven altered. So that's the altered scale. And uh, that also comes from melodic minor. It comes from a melodic minor a half step above. So that's from F-sharp melodic minor. On the seventh degree of F-sharp melodic minor is the altered scale. So you can see on each chord we have here we have a different scale. That's impossible to think and play. You have to think arpeggios and be aware of those diatonic tones in between that you can play and that you can also use chromatic approach notes and everything else in between. Nevertheless, good to know, Ionian scale for the B flat major 7. That's our new key and that's the main key of the song. So that's then in the key of B flat, first degree is B flat. The next two bars are, again, pretty easy, because that's the only time we stay in one key. That's Dorian, that is Mixolydian, that's Ionian, and that's Aeolian. 
all in the key of A. Four chords now for those two bars that are in the key of A. We continue. 2 minus 7 flat 5, always Locrian. Let me put it here. D7, sharp 11, a sub 5, always calls for a mixo sharp 11 scale, and that's Ionian. So the corresponding basic scales are Locrian, E flat minus 7, so that's the key of E. 7th degree actually would be D sharp, and harmonically is E flat minor. Mixolydian sharp 11 again, that's coming from melodic minor and from the A melodic minor scale. And that is D flat. Here, the C minor 7 flat 5 is Locrian, and that's also, again, coming 7th degree from D flat. So that stays that scale here. Again, a sub 5. Sub 5s are always Mixolydian sharp 11. And so this comes from F sharp melodic minor. And watch, remember, we use F sharp melodic minor coming from the altered scale. So they are interrelated, altered scale and Mixolydian sharp 11 scale. This is the regular 5-7 altered and that's the sub-5. And then we come to Ionian and of course that's B-flat. So that's the analysis of P's and you see it's uh, pretty complicated in one way. On the other way it's very simple. You just have to know your two fives and the corresponding scales, but think arpeggios and then just connect those notes of the chord tones with the related diatonic tones that come from the scales. So this was part one of the analysis of peace. Next week we will apply it to the guitar, how to play those arpeggios and scales, how to play the chords and the melody. And I hope to see you here next week for part two. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon at Lothar's Guitar School again. Take care. Bye bye.